My name is Jory Favreau and I teach in the Fisheries and Wildlife Science Program here at Paul Smith College. I'm Celia Evans and I'm an ecologist and I uh, teach in the biology uh, programs here at Paul Smith College. We are studying, we're, we're interested in what determines how snowshoe hares move on the landscape um, and we're interested in ultimately our big research question is how snowshoe hares choose the habitat that they uh, spend their time in and how they spend their time and how they move um, how they move in that and there's a lot of a lot of parts to that research that we're going to be exploring in the next few years with our students um, go ahead and <laughs> say what we're doing out here. Um, some of those factors that might influence how they move of course are predation risk are there aerial predators ground predators that might affect where they decide to go food is going to obviously impact where they decide to move around so we're out here measuring things like what kind of foods available um, how, how um, available is that food um, other things would include energetics. They have to keep warm throughout the Adirondack winters, since we have to know something about how they maintain their body heat and how much food they need to eat, and all these things are going to come into play when, when they decide where to move to. Okay, that's fun. What we're doing out here today is we are um, we're field testing some protocols we're developing from the literature on snowshoe mm -hmm. hares um, that other people have done in the northern, more northern parts and some of the southern parts of the range where mm -hmm. there's less, there are fewer data. Um, and we're out here trying to make sure that we uh, know what we want our students to do so that we can get quality data from our, from our courses. We're going to be working on the snowshoe hare research in a bunch of different courses that the snowshoe hare system can be a really good model for. So we're making sure we know what our students know what they're doing when they come out here. Our students have already been involved with this work. We've had several students do capstone work as well as Celia led up an independent study um, course. <laughs> While Celia's on sabbatical, she led a course um, that also moved around this work. Um, and so we already have another batch of, of students looking to do some social hair work as part of their capstone. We have students that are headed towards graduate school and they've really identified this as a good experience to help them get uh, admittance into graduate school. And students get to, uh, they get to see what other people know, what other scientists have done. They get to integrate those ideas into their own research. Mm -hmm. um, they get to link their research to our research. Uh, we don't have graduate students at Paul Smith, so our undergraduates uh, are great, and they're the folks that we work with and depend on to help us actually do this research that we really love. And um, they get a ton out of it from what we can tell in the past. It's a really great experience.